Hey, Merry Christmas. Uh, as you know, I am now a fanboy of the Chiapa Rhino Revolver. Uh, thanks to Yankee Marshall, um, where I first saw this pistol. And then uh, it took me a few years before I could acquire it. Um, I love this, this pistol. And one of the things that I discovered when, uh, when I bought it was that, uh, oh, you need a holster. <laughs> Sucks to be you. It was hard finding a holster. Uh, that would work. Now, they had a holster available uh, on the Kiapa website, and I, I, I bought it. It was Kydex. Uh, this is it right here. Right? It's a paddle. Right? Uh, and I thought, cool. Kiapa makes a holster. Sucks. sucks. I'll show you why. But I had, I carried it, because uh, this is uh, outside the waistband, and I carried this holster um, because I needed something for, for the gun to be in. I bought a leather one from another company. It really sucked because the upper lip where you insert the gun just wouldn't, I mean, it just, it was dangerous. So I actually threw it away. And then I don't know how I found it, but I, I found another company uh, called uh, Game Face uh, Game Face Holsters, and I'll put their information down below. And lo and behold, they had holsters both inside the waistband, appendix, and outside the waistband for Kiapa Rhino. So I looked at it, and I said, "Well, I'll buy one, see what happens," and this is what theirs looks like. This is also Kydex. The difference is it doesn't suck. Why? Listen. That's why. When you have a single retention Kydex holster you and you don't hear the click It's a bad holster because it's not going to retain the gun. Now, uh, so I'm very happy with the Game Face people. Now they have a other type, same holster, but it's leather lined inside. It has a little leather uh, lining that protects. I mean, when you when you get a firearm that you spend a bit of money on, you want to protect the finish as much as possible. So the unlined one is the one that they suggest you use for the range and any tactical training and the leather one for carrying around. Um, and that's it on their website. Now, this holster from Kiapa it, you know, it, there is, it, it, you can tell it doesn't feel secure when you, when you try to insert the gun. So this one from Game Face you know that baby's going in there and it's going to stay. Uh, the other part, problem with the uh, one from Kiapa, is if you look at how the paddle is affixed. This is the one from Kiapa, right? Look how, the, look how they did the screws, right? Look how the guys at Game Face did clearly a difference in craftsmanship and worksmanship. Now on the front, if you look at if you look at the the design on the front, which is supposed to match the imprint of the gun exactly, right? This does not. It doesn't match the imprint of this gun. Because if it did it would have an indent here, like the one from Game Face. See this right here? That's an exact match to the upper part of the barrel, which is why the fit 
is so snug. Now, in terms of being able to adjust the tension and the fit of the holster, the one from Kiapa had these net bullshit screws with no, they're just terrible, terrible workmanship, right? For these things. And you see how they're standing out? And there's only two of them. And it's already down to, I don't know if you can see that, it's already, you can't adjust it anymore. The one from Game Face has three adjustable screws. And like any good quality Kydex holster that's a taco like this, you have the rubber grommets inside and you can tighten this baby down pretty good. Almost so tight that you almost can't get your gun out. So far superior, far superior. So if, if you have uh, or are thinking to get a Kiapa Rhino, regardless of the barrel length, the guys at Game Face holsters absolutely have the holster for you. Uh, and if you have any questions, just give them a ring. They have excellent customer service. Um, the owner is a veteran Air Force guy, uh, actually, and uh, will take care of you. So, Kiapa Rhino, you need a holster? Call the guys at Game Face. They'll hook you up. So as always, thanks for watching. Carry on.